Well, this morning we'll start day two of the search for a missing swimmer in Lincoln. The man was last seen assisting two kayakers in the Wenscott Reservoir before going under. That's right along Route 7 near the borders of Smithfield and North Providence. And 12 News reporter Jake Holter is live in North Providence on that side of the reservoir. Jake, what can you tell us now? Well, Kate, okay, yeah, as of 8.30, like we'd been saying, uh, things were going to get underway. We've seen uh, the Rhode Island State Police's Marine unit show up for a little bit. It appears um, the victim's family is here, and there have been a couple boats that have gotten in the water so far to search for that missing swimmer who they lost late last night. First responders are looking for a 50-year-old old man who swam out in the water near Naughty Park to help the two distressed kayakers, but he never returned. Crews were called to the Wenscott Reservoir near Douglas Pike around 7 o'clock last night. Authorities say the 50 year old man was able to get the two kayakers to safety and they are unharmed as the body of water spans multiple jurisdictions. A unified response from Lincoln, Smithfield, North Providence and state police also assisted in the search. Lime Rock Fire Chief Timothy Waltz says the swimmer fell beneath the surface somewhere on the Lincoln side of the water. So Lincoln is leading the investigation as well as the search. Victims, family and friends were also helping to assist in the search last night. And he, the search began as a search and rescue now is turned into a recovery mission. And they say the water quality has posed a challenge. So the, what we're being told by the dive teams that are out there right now is anywhere between four to eight feet. It's very muddy and mucky in those particular areas. So state police said to anticipate road closures in the area once search uh, efforts begin. I'm not sure if we're seeing that just yet, but if that closure does happen, it'll most likely be along Route 7 from just north of Knott Park to Twin River Road in Lincoln, just the same as it was last night. Uh, the rain making the situation a little bit more difficult, but we will keep you updated. Live in North Providence, Jake Coulter, 12 News.